I'm gonna do a review for, of course, Diva Dress. I'm doing a bob this time. I know it's summertime. I wanna try a little color and a bob and everything. And my cap is sliding back. Oh God, my hair look like OG's hair. <laughs> Like she saw your hair is in the back of the car. Yeah, that was funny. That's blow eyes up. Yeah. Uh, anywho, um, the hair that I'm going to be doing a review on is it's the wig, and I got it from divatrust.com. I will have it linked below. So I want to try a bob. Um, I want to go similar to the colors that kind of similar to my hair, my hair color since I did bleach it. So I'm kind of y'all see I've been having a lot of colorful wigs, and I'm stepping out of my comfort zone, getting out of the one B zone. So this is It's a Wig and a Synthetic Lace Front Wig and it is in color number TSM 3027. So my hair is around a 30 kind of color. So this is mixed in so it's like a reddish blonde and you have the yellow blonde kind of mixed in together. Um, and this one is like a very, very, very blunt cut um, bob. Now I have worn this unit. So I will show you how it looked beforehand. And then I did customize it. I tweaked it a little bit and um, added a little bit of mascara to the rooting. That's basically all I have done. I have worn this wig on several occasions um, just to wear it out, you know, to see how it feels, you know, going out with it. This is Miss Kaylee. She is a beautiful, beautiful mixture of blondes. I guess the per perfect color palette for it. She does have um, two combs. On the side and one in the back and I believe one at the no no one at the top I just have the adjustable straps now this one is by it's a wig now I've never um, had a wig from their company at all um, used to like free dress and you know brands like that so this was different for me to have so we're gonna put her on like I told you I have customized her previously um, I just plucked it a little bit and add a little bit of powder so let's slap Miss Kelly on. So if you are a long time subscriber to my channel, you know that I don't wear wigs straight out of the package and I have to customize it. Now this one was the one I had to do least customization to. Um, I did run the iron through just a little bit because the texture is yakky. Uh, we all know how the yakky texture feels. This is the yakky with like the the little texture design to where you can feel it. It has the coarse little design to it. And as you can see, it does have a beautiful, you know, blend of the blondes, which I wish my real hair was like this. But then I do have like this one major highlight in the front, which you can just see it's like peekaboo highlights throughout the unit. Now I'm going to probably push it back just a tad bit. There we go. Now this is one of the units that you can shake and go. Only thing I had to really manipulate was the parting area when I did add some powder to it and I did add a little bit of mascara because the top part is mainly like a color number four type brown up at the top where I kind of want to be a little bit darker to kind of go match with my widow's peak because y'all know I slide my wigs back. I don't wear them all the way stuck to my forehead sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, um, now let me get into the actual specs of the hair like I told y'all it does have two combs on the side and one in the back adjustable straps like typical wigs you come with um the texture is yakky like I said um I'm really I really don't care for the texture at all um I'm not really a fan of the texture the cut is beautiful but I do feel like it is a little bit jagged on the ends but I can fix that up with a you know just clip a little bit of the ends and um just clip the ends a little bit. Now what I'm going to try to do, it is uh, curling iron safe. So what I'm going to try to do is bump the hair. So this is not going to be like a typical review because I've seen a lot of reviews on this unit. Um, but just like a different color, maybe like red or whatever, which mind you do come in different colors as well. So what I'm going to do is just try to bump the ends. Um, hopefully I do not burn the unit. But that may actually change my mind about... The actual hair itself because it's not really my favorite but I wear it because it does it's like a classy even bob that I want like I desire to have this type of length well I did have this length but I did cut it but I just like it's just, it fits my face it frames my face very well so um I don't want to hate it so I'm going to try to make myself love it 
and what we're going to do is get our flat iron and we're going to see if we can bump this hair alrighty so I do have my flat iron on now this one doesn't come with um, temperature settings so I won't know um, but hopefully fingers crossed we do not melt this unit so I'm going to try to bump do a bumper piece in the back just to see what it will do but I'm hoping it doesn't make it extra shiny because this hair does I mean even though it does have like a dull appearance it still has a high luster to it where it looks synthetic a little bit but I don't know, maybe it's just me but let's see I'll try to bump it okay so it bumped pretty good so I'm just going to the front of my hair Smoking. slightly about Miss Kaylee. Now Miss Kaylee can be curled or bumped to the edge and she's doing pretty good. Like all you have to do is like bump it and just hold it a little bit. Do not keep the hair on there because it's his synthetic hair. Do not keep it on there. Just kind of bump it for a little bit and just hold it and then just let it go. And I just kind of like brush it up. I do need to touch up the back of the hair. Um, so basically if you guys want like a pre-cut bob already and you just want to have it in a wig definitely get this unit but uh, I think as it gets a little bit older um, maybe the luster kind of dies down a little bit that's my only problem is the way because I have a ring light on it looks synthetic with the I don't know you guys tell me how you guys see it because I don't know it just looks real shiny a little bit to a degree but I am liking and well, actually loving her now since she is bumped a little bit I'm um, gonna have to touch up the back when I take it and put on a mannequin head and kind of bump the back but I'm gonna turn around so you guys can see what the back of Miss Kaylee looks like My only con with this hair is the actual luster and the texture of the yaki. But yes, you can apply heat to it. Yes, this is a semi-shake and go. You just have to kind of customize the um, closure part, the lace part of the wig. And that's pretty much it. It does come in other awesome colors. I've looked up tons of reviews and there's ladies who have the red ombre tips. It looks so freaking gorgeous. So I would say I'll give Miss Kaylee maybe like a a 8 or a 7 out of 10 which is not bad um I really like Miss Kaylee a little bit but it just the shininess of it a little bit but that's something you can probably work out by putting a little uh by putting a little bit of dry shampoo on the hair it may dull out a little bit but I am kind of liking Miss Kaylee like this now I only could probably wear it like this because I know when I lean forward the vein and stuff gets in my eye and I'm just like this at work like if you have like a job where you're constantly bending over and working tuck Miss Kaylee behind your ears don't wear it in your face because that's going to be a main issue that's my main problem that I had with her too was just like trying to move this and trying to stay pretty all day but Miss Kaylee just works on her own because sister girl got a lot of body. So yeah, hopefully you boos do enjoy this quick little video on Miss Kaylee. Um, I guess it's kind of like a sort of kind of review and how I applied her. I mean, I did already customize it before I got on camera, which was a, a no-no. But yeah, hopefully you boos do get the gist that she can be curled. So if you were wondering if Miss Kaylee can be curled, yes, she can be bumped. So I think she actually looks better bumped than the um, choppy razor look because it kind of looked a little bit uneven and jagged. 
if you guys are interested in this wig i will have a link below with divatrust.com and a couple of my other videos that i do have on my synthetic wigs that i do like so hopefully you will enjoy this one and i'll see you in the next one mm -hmm.